Uh, welcome back everyone to another episode here taking a look at some of the blueprints that I found on the Steam Workshop page. Our very first piece was made by a Dream Yulman. It's called Planet Zoo of the Netherlands. There are over 45 habitats in the zoo and over 360 animals. This zoo is massive. There is so much to see and do here. Please be sure to go ahead, download this blueprint, and take a look at all of the really intricate details that are found here in this zoo. Thank you so much for building this and sharing it with us. We have a really beautiful piece here made by Flavolifera. It's called Alegrida, the Town of Lights. There are two habitats in this zoo and there's just over 40 different animals in it.
What a really beautiful, beautiful piece this is. It would be a great addition to just about any suit. Thank you so much for sharing this with us in the Sphinx community. Our second piece made by Babelifera is called Medieval Red Panda Habitat. Bring this into your zoo for right around $66,000. What great architecture there is here. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community and sharing this with us. It's really a beautiful piece. The next blueprint that we have is called Chinese Style Ancient Town Zoo. And it was made by an author that I cannot pronounce the name. Please see the description for a link to their STEAM workshop page. This zoo has right around 14 habitats and just a little over 120 animals in it. Oh, there's so much work done here. So many little intricate details. The zoo looks absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Now we have a really nice park here made by Darth Delicious. It's called Winterland. There are 18 habitats in the zoo and a little over 160 animals.
what a really, really nice zoo this is. There are so many really creative pieces in here and links to different parts of the zoo. Really love this zoo. Thank you so much for sharing this with us in the Steam community. We have a Japanese garden-inspired props by Shenanigans. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $7,000. They're great props. Thank you so much for sharing these with us. Our next piece is called Cambodian Emerald Temple Shops. It was made by James A. McDonald. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $13,000. What a lovely job you did here. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. We have Tanker, made here by Hurt Zellrich. You can bring this into your zoo for right around seven and a half thousand dollars. What a great little tanker this is. Thank you so much for sharing this with all of us. Our next piece was made by Air Duexer. It is a shelter for giraffes. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $23,000. What a great shelter this is for giraffes. They're so hard to make. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. Well, we have a really nice grizzly habitat here made by Croco. Croco has a YouTube channel. Please be sure to go ahead and check out his YouTube channel when you get done here. And bring this into your zoo for right around $18,000. A perfect little habitat here for grizzlies. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. We have another habitat here made by Twisted Foil. It is an African elephant valley. You can bring this into your zoo for right around The perfect little habitat for your elephants. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Raph Lebens has made a two train engines here. This first one is called GN Big Sky Blue EMD F7, the diesel locomotive. You can bring this into your super right around $100,000. And then we have the Great Northern Empire Builder, EMD F7. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $110,000. Really, really nice job on both of these engines. Thank you so much for bringing all of your hard work to the STEAM community. How about a tunnel for African Savannah? Made here by Livin' Like Larry. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $14,000. A 
really nice entrance way for a savanna area. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. We have a small fish made here by John Eros. Each one of these fish is made of about 200 pieces. You bring this whole set into your zoo for right around $8,000. Great little pieces for any little aquarium. These would be great additions. Thank you so much for sharing these with us. We have two pieces here made by Larissa. This first one is called Planet Paradise Asia, Indian Peafowl. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $29,000. What a really, really nice pea fowl walkthrough habitat this is. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. The other piece made by Larissa is called Planet Paradise Asia Red Panda Habitat. You can bring this into your zoo for $28,000. What a great little habitat this is. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community and sharing it with us. We have a jaguar habitat made here by Nelia. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $26,000. So many places for your jaguars to roam around in here and some really great viewpoints for your visitors. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. It's a really, really nice habitat. Nath Chalk 97 has made us a red panda habitat. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $9,000. A really, really nice habitat this is. Thank you so much for bringing this to all of us and sharing it with us. Our last piece this week was made by Lester Galisa and it's called a Scandi Park Education Trail number two. This park features 12 habitats and just a little over 260 animals.
is a really, really beautiful park that you have made here. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. A great big thank you to everyone for joining me in today's episodes. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot with YouTube. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider doing so. We will see you guys all back next week. You guys all take it easy.